morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to this morning's study, the last study of the week. And we're going to just review a little bit and see if we can move ahead past this. Um, but you're looking at the chart there, Abimelech's downfall. But before we begin, can you join me in a word of prayer? Dear gracious Heavenly Father, we invite you through thy spirit into our hearts and minds this morning. We thank you, Lord, that we can once again look at the truths in your word and how they apply to us today. We pray for this movement, the people in it. We know, Lord, that um, the opportunities that you give us each day, if they are ne neglected or rejected, that uh, your Holy Spirit speaks um, more quietly each time as you try to impress our hearts. And so we pray for those, Lord, who, who, may, who may only have a faint whisper of your spirit to them, that something can happen to startle them, awake them uh, to their true condition. And we pray this for ourselves. Lord, we know that uh, we are far from you. And we just ask that we can respond to your voice and your leading, that we can see ourselves as we truly are, and that we can trust in you for righteousness. Be with us in our midst in this study. Open our minds, our understanding. And we pray this and ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> so yesterday, things took a little bit of a turn as far as how we were looking at the story of Jotham. So one of the things about Jotham is he is the 70, 70th week, but he also, that whole study uh, represents um, the 70 weeks. And, and the basis there, as we talked about, it went back to uh, uh, Lamech, right? So the 777 days that we had here in uh, the study of what we called Abimelech's downfall. Now we're changing this to Jotham's parable. All right, so Jotham's parable, we renamed that 777 days. And what we did is we took this bramble from this line, January 11th, 2023, and we zoomed into that. So when we go into the application of the parable, the bramble refers to Jotham's downfall. So we didn't take the whole parable referring to that. The parable refers, the first three refer to the 777 days. The bramble is going to refer to this period of time beginning December 25th, 2021, and going to April 5th, 2030. Now, the key to that is that we took Jotham and we looked at the number, the Hebrew number of his name. It's 3147. And we had laid these lines down here. December 25th, we took from uh, 9 verse 20. So in Judges 9 verse 20, um, this is uh, the end of the parable where it says, But if not, let fire come from Abimelech and devour the men of Shechem and the house of Milo, and let fire come out from the men of Shechem and from the house of Milo and devour Abimelech, right? So that's the last verse of the parable. And then we have Judges 9.21, and Jotham ran away and fled and went to Beer. So this is the message of Jotham, the 70, 70th week, that refers to, that points to April 5th, 2030. He's going to go to Beer, and that that relates, even though it's not uh, Beersheba, it relates to the well. So this has to do with studying, right? So Jotham is doing some deep studying. That message is being studied. And then we have, um, after three years, we're going to have the downfall, right? So the three years is the 777 days. And so that judges starts on Judges 9.22, but we're going to use Judges 9, verse 20 to start this line because that's the 20th day of the ninth month. So that's going to be uh, the bramble, right? 
Now, this whole line addresses it. We have January 11th, 2023, which is the bramble on the other line. That's the date we have for it. This line is an expansion, a zoom into January 11th, 2023. So that's the arrival of the fourth message, message, which is the arrival of the second message in this line, right? Now, we then uh, took the, from December 25th, the seven weeks to uh, Odilio's study is the formalization of that message that arrives on December 25th. So that's the Bramble message, right? Now, the Bramble message, the problem with it is not what Colin or Adilio presented. The problem is the issues around those messages. So on December 25th, when Colin presented the message, I saw the light in it. I saw people were resisting it. I tried to give support to it, which was perceived as me pestering Colin, and they just wanted him to present. They didn't want any discussion. Now, seven weeks later, Adelio presents his study dealing with the mandates. And again, the same light that was in Colin's message is there. Now, Adelio is going to talk about a close of probation. He's going to tie this to Colin's message, even though there's no tie in his message. There's nothing in his message that ties the two together. Um, he's going to introduce the 1629. And that 1629 is also later going to be a witness um, to this whole structure of Collins and uh, this structure of April 5th, 2030. So they're all going to be tied together. Now, the empowerment of that is December 25th, 2022. There's an invitation made regarding December 25th, 2021. And that invitation is repeated. So if we look at the 20th day of the ninth month as after the three days, the 777 from 2019 to 2021 is the three days. It's the three years, right? Uh, the call to Jerusalem to repentance. Then we're going to have uh, the first day of the 10th month, which the divorcement begins. Now, in December 25th, that, that appeal is made again in 2022, one year later. But again, it appears to be rejected. There's no interest in looking at the light that God has been revealing to us. And um, so we line up that first day of the 10th month, which is literally on the biblical calendar for the first day of the 10th month, and January 11th, 2023, which has that symbolically because of the 88 months to the first day of the first month. So that's from Ezra chapter 10. And so that 2,640 days from January 11th, 2023 to April 5th, 2030 is 88 months. So we have a day for a month. And um, so between those two symbols of the first day of the 10th month, we have the 1,347 days. So that's the name Jotham, 3147. So Jotham's message is really the message of that call to the divorcement, right? From Ezra chapter 10. Agreed. Yeah, and then we can see that these, this span of time, 3,023 days from December 25th, 2021 to April 5th, 2030, refers to this period of time from 2023 to 2030. It's just in reverse, right? So it says 30 to 23. Right. And then that number of days is 431 weeks and seven days, which is an iteration of 3147 from Jotham's name. So all of these things become uh, these powerful symbols that we can now look at this bramble. Now, as far as the formalization and the empowerment of the message. Um, I mean, we could just take what we had done in other lines and say that this is a further invitation um, to the camp meeting and, and all that type of stuff. But since it's in the future, as far as we can tell, um, we don't know what the formalization or the empowerment is. It could be the formalization is, is going to happen at the camp meeting this summer. It could be some other event. I think at this point, we don't know. 
So I don't have anything there. And, and I haven't seen, the only thing that we can say is in the story of the fall of Abimelech, we're going to have all the son of Ebed and this conflict with Abimelech. And Gaal is bitterness, and this would refer to, from my perspective, and maybe other people have different ideas, but it would refer to the conflict that exists within that message itself. And so this is something that I think we will see worked out over time. Um, Okay, so Angela says here in the chat, um, 20, 30 days where we have 23 and 30, or 20, 23 to 20, or 43 weeks and six days. Okay, so now 20, 30 days. I mean, I don't know if we have uh, a line where we have 20, 30 days. Right. So you understand what I'm saying? I meant 3023. I'm a bit dyslexic too. Oh, oh 3023 days? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So, so 3023 days. Yeah. Um, Just seeing here if I have anything. Just trying to find something here. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so you're saying that it's uh, what you're doing is you're just taking the number of weeks, 43 weeks in six days, or 44 weeks in one day. I don't. What's the 44 weeks? I don't understand what you guys are doing there in the chat. I just wrote the same thing a different way, which is 44 weeks minus one day. So you have 44 and one. For how long a period of time? Um, the one that you have there, the 3023 days. OK, so that's 431 weeks. And seven days. Okay. Yeah, I think I. There's a missing number. So. Yeah. So with Angela, she's saying it's 431 weeks and six days. But I'm doing in an inclusive count rather than a cardinal count. So I'm counting. So when you say. 432 weeks then rather than 431 weeks and seven days, yes. seven days well, weeks. Right. 432 weeks but we could write it as 431 weeks and seven days that's all i'm saying oh to match up to match up with the 1347 and the 3147 okay right. yeah because it is 431 weeks and six days but if we include the uh uh all of the days from the beginning to the end it would then be seven days, right? So just including that. So that's why it, it shows up that way. Because it is 431 weeks and six days if we do a cardinal count. But if we include April 5th and December 25th, 2021, so you're including all the days, then you would add that one day to the six days to get the inclusive count. Okay, so 
that that's the reason it's that way. Okay. Um, so this seems to be better. It solves some of our problems, some of the things that didn't really make sense. And um, so we don't know what these, um, yeah, so 434 divided by seven. Now, uh, 434, um, so I'm not sure of the 434. What is the 434 there? Iran, because we got 432. 434 would be, of course, uh, the 62, like 62 weeks is 434 days, but we don't have quite have that. Yeah, I was trying to type in my calculator and it went to the chat, sorry. <laughs> okay. So one of the things you can see here, though, is, yeah, because that'll just give you 62, 434 divided by 7. Um, now, if you go to Passover, it is interesting uh, that is Passover in 30 AD. It's going to be 434 weeks. Right, so that's kind of interesting. You see what I'm saying? That if we go from December 25th, 2021, the end of our 777 days, and we took that 62 weeks from the 70 weeks, which is 434 years. So we're just going to take it as instead of 434 years, we're just going to take 434 weeks. Then to get to... Uh, Passover in 2030. So that's going to be, um, you know, for the basically to the 15th. Because um, if we go there, uh, let me see here. So it's be me son 15. So that's going to be the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Um, is Nissan 15, that will be a, a complete 434 weeks. So it's, it's kind of interesting there, but so that would be the 434. But here we have 431 and then seven days. Now, so this is the prophecy of Jotham which is the call, right? This relates to the call to repentance in this line. Right? It's going to relate to, um, and, and remember, we have the 70 weeks. When does the 70 weeks commence? In 457 BC. And we know that it's between the first day of the fifth month and the 20th day of the ninth month that they commence, that is on the day of atonement, the 10th day of the seventh month. And in these lines, one of the things that we saw was um, uh, this uh, July 10th, right here, this empowerment, July 10th and, and 11th, right? So we're going to have Jeff's last message. But the 10th day of the seventh month of the Mayan calendar, it's the center of a chiasm. And it is the center of a chiasm in the story of Ezra, from the first day of the fifth month to the 20th day of the ninth month, the 10th day of the seventh month is the center. And so you can see how in Jotham's parable, we end up with this symbol. And this is going to go to the December 25th, 2021. Right? So, so there is something there as well that ties these together. <clears throat> but as far as Abimelech's downfall, uh, I'm, you know, reluctant to sort of place where the second angel is formalized or the second angel is empowered. Because I still think those are future and that they relate to the conflict within the movement itself between 
the message of Gaal, right? This message of repulsion and, and the message of Abimelech. Right. That that ultimately leads to Abimelech's downfall. So that message ends up being destroyed. Now, initially, I was hoping that, you know, after January 11th, and then we had, you know, we, we have this period of time, you would think Colin's prediction would end. Um, but they're still persisting in that down that course. Right. So so we're kind of in the midst of that that prophecy. Now, um, if we look at some keys in these verses, so we just want to examine a few more things here. Um, so the thing about Gaal, his name, the Hebrew number is 1603, right? Uh, it comes from the Strong's number 1602, which is identical, it's just means to detest, loathe, vilely cast away, reject, abhor, right? So it's this uh, uh, response, this physical response to disgust. That's, it's an onomatopoeic word, a name. So uh, we have Gaal and... Uh, Is is there anything we can see about that number of his name? 1603. Any ideas on that? I mean, we have, um, we know from, um, here if we go back to when time setting came in our movement in 2018 we, we generally just mark um, uh, June 9th right, so June 9th 2018 and you know if we counted 1603 days it Bring us to October 29th, uh, 2022. Okay, so seven times prime 50. So can you explain uh, that in the chat there, Aram? So you're saying the number 1603, the name of Gaal, is... Seven times two twenty nine. Okay, so that means if we divide it, so the number two twenty nine um, is the fiftieth prime. Okay, so that's interesting. The fiftieth prime number. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 
Now, if we count from when we had time setting in the movement, because remember, this all has to do with time setting and time settings introduced into this movement. We could count uh, from June 9th, 16, uh, what is it? Um, what is the number that we're looking at here? Um, yeah, 1603, right? And if we got that, we would get to um, October, uh, October 29th, 2022. That's going to be a Sabbath. Now, I don't know if there's any significance of events on that day. So that's all I'm... <clears throat> that's going to be before the election. Right. So uh, the midterm election. It's also going to be 1,602 days from June uh, June 10th. So that would just be the date that Daniel from Brazil counted. So I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. But we have the October 29th date, whether that's significant, if we counted from when time setting comes into the movement. Okay. Now, with Abimelech himself, I mean, his Hebrew number is the number 40. So, I mean, what's the number 40 represent? I mean, we know that uh, when it comes to the 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 first three kings of, of Israel, you know, united Israel, you're going to have Saul reigns for 40 years, David reigns for 40 years, and um, Solomon reigns for 40 years, right? So it's interesting that Abimelech, uh, my father the king, right, is the Hebrew number 40 in Strong's, right? So it represents a king, a king's reign. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So if that makes sense, um, uh, how would we apply that number then to our line? What would be... Um, what would we do? I mean, we could take, you know, 40, the number 40, and we could look for, you know, 40 weeks. We could look for 40 months. You know, 40 weeks is going to be 280 days. Is there a 280 days there? If we're going to take 40 months, um, that's going to be three years and months is there a three years and four months anywhere in our line where would three years four months take us well if you're going to go from where so if you went from 2018 um so we're taking the all and abimelech who are having this conflict and we're just going to take um So 40 times. So 40 months, 40 times 30. Um, so I'm just going to count again from that same date. Uh, That takes us September 22, uh, 2021. So I don't know. It does, it also brings us, if we count from, um, October 13th, 
2018. But, you know, it depends how we're counting months as well. But if we just count regular months, so in 2018, if we counted from October 13th, that's going to bring us to um, – I guess that would be, so if we're just counting months, it's going to bring us to January 13th, 2022. So I don't know if that's significant. So I don't know. But all I'm saying is, you know, there's things that you we, we could look at with those names. But we do have the symbol there of Abimelech in that way. So the number 40. So maybe there's something that will come to light as we start looking at these lines further down, down the line as far as this conflict. So when it comes to that formalization and empowerment of the message of the second angel that arrives on January 11th, 2023, maybe those symbols will tie into a date uh, marking those events. I don't know. All I'm saying is that's that's what we've been doing. You know, we looked at Zabul, the 2083. Uh, we started looking at that, these different names and the symbols, the meanings of the names. <clears throat> uh, okay, so Angela points us to uh, the godly defi defiance, the reliance on God in Daniel 3, 16 to 18 reminds me of Jotham's proclamation of Judges 9, verse 19 to 20. Both statements involve mention of possible consumption by fire. Both are addressed to rebellious rulers. So, there's, so and that would be a symbol of the Sunday law. And we know that, that Colin uses Daniel chapter 3 as part of his argument, right? So definitely we, we, we can see the connection there. It refers us to Collins, Collins uh, study. But yeah, I just don't think we can move farther beyond in this study uh, to speculate on what those formalizations and empowerments, what they would be at this point. But the only thing I could do here um, is <clears throat> we could put Gaal here <clears throat> and whether we want to put um, I'm going to put Zabul. So I think those are the names um, that we want to mark there. This is the message of Gaal and the message of Zabul. I think that that's what we would be looking at in this line. Now, as far as marking the April 5th, 2030 date. Now, so the message of Gaal is uh, when Gaal um, said, who is Abimelech and who is Shechem? So that's going to be 928. And 929, right? So, right. So that's. So it's Judges 9.28. OK. 
Okay, is this making sense, what I'm doing? And then we're going to have the message of Zabul. So Ga'al, Zabul is this ruler of Shechem, and he's he's going to make a give a message as, as well. So we have Ga'al's message. And it says, when Zabul, the ruler of the city, heard the words of Ga'al, the son of Ebed, his anger was kindled. And he sent messengers unto Abimelech, privily saying, Behold, Gaal, the son of Ebed and his brethren, be come to Shechem. And behold, they fortify the city against thee. Now therefore, up by night, thou and the people that is with thee, and lie in wait in the field. And it shall be in the morning, as soon as the sun is up, that thou shalt rise early and set upon the city, right, etc. So his message is going to be uh, from 931 to 933. Okay, so that's so that's what I think is uh, those verses would be marking this a formalization of a message and an empowerment of the message. But what dates those would be in our history? I still think this is future refers to a conflict within the movement. Any any thoughts on this? So, so we have those verses there. Um, we obviously have this 9 verse 20. Now, when it comes to this formalization, um, you know, this, this connection, these two messages are connected. This is 9 verse 20 as well. Um, these two dates, or uh, December 25th and January 11th, um, I don't know what verses we would use other than that this is the meth message of Jotham. And, um, you know, Jotham is going to flee, right? And he's going to, you know, go to beer. So, um, and that's in 9 verse 21. So all it does is it gives us that period of time, the 1347. And so, so we're getting that Hebrew number, even though Jotham's mentioned other places, but we're taking it from there. Um, so whether we put 921 there, or we put some other verse, to mark it, but it's it's definitely in that the bramble parable. So we pr probably could just take the whole parable of the bramble, um, which is going to begin at verse fourteen. Now another thing um, about the bramble. Uh, that we should kind of note here. So the Hebrew word bramble, um, uh, which is atad, is uh, the Strong's number 329. Right. So we already understood this 329 in, in connection with this entire line. Right. So there's 329 days between October 13th, 2018, and September 7th, 2019. Okay, Judges 9.28 has a similar taunting tone as in John 6.42. So, um, 
references. Angela put this in the note. John 6.42 is... And they said, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How has it been that he saith, I came down from heaven? Well, there'd be a lot of verses that we could tie that to. But anyway, getting back to the 329. Right. So the 329 is the number of days from October 13th, 2018 to September 7th, 2019. Those are the two dates when I do these measurements. Right. So I measure... Uh, there. Now, we're saying that this relates to the bramble, right? So, uh, if we look at this line here, we have this 329 in one day. So, we know this 3,291 days relates to the 329 days, which we have here, October 13th, right? So in Jotham's line, um, one of the things, this 329 days that we could add here is Bramble is the Hebrew number 329, right? So, so we can note that here in this line. But as far as this line over here, we have Bramble is over here. Right? So, so I'm just saying that this 329 days relates to the word Bramble which is the Hebrew 329, but it re relates to this whole line. But now the bramble here is this eighth. It's a repeat. If we remember how the eighth happens, it's a repeat of the line itself, right? That is, it's another uh, line, right? But more primarily, we would look at this line here, the 777 days, if this was Millerite history, this here would be Revelation 18. So this would be Revelation um, 14, you know, dealing with the three angels' messages. And this would be the second angel arriving again in a repeat of history. So, so that bramble has attached to it this 329 as a symbol. And so there may be some way in which this line, this bramble, has 329 attached to it. So the one way we can look at it is if we take this entire line, um, this 329, it, it, it refers to all of this dealing with time. But now bramble is going to take time and misuse it. So it's a repeat of a history it's a counterfeit of this. So I, I don't know how else to um, state this, but I, I'm just going to say that this is, again, Hebrew 3.29, just so we have that. Um, we have that in there. See how that relates. Okay, so so I'm I'm willing to leave this and move on to our other lines, which is the line of Tola and Jair, and maybe we we'll notice some things and come back to it. But as far as I'm concerned, we've addressed Judges chapter nine, and now we have Tola and Jair. So, and we're just we're just now these other lines that we're dealing at the end, we've actually added quite a bit of detail to them. We don't have all of the verses attached to them, which is what we're supposed to be doing. But it's just as we examine these things, we continue to see more. Okay, so um, let's take a look in Tola and JDR. So here's the line that we have. And uh, this line, is going to go from July 28th um, to September 3rd, 2022. That's going to be 45 years that are being marked. And 
we have all of these different dates. Why we have them, I'm not even sure. I don't know if I remember this line completely. I'm going to have to go and review the video. Um, so the main, the primary thing is, and there wasn't a lot of verses here. I mean, it's not a, a huge, um, oops, so we're going to go there. Judges chapter 10, right? We have five verses with Tola and Jair. So it's not a, a huge uh, amount of verses, but we had a lot of symbols packed in here. So after Abimelech, there rose to defend Israel, Tola, the son of Pua, and the son of Dodo, a man of Issachar. And he dwelt in Shemir, in Mount Ephraim. And he judged Israel twenty and three years, and died, and was buried in Shemir. And after him arose Jair, a Gileadite, and judged Israel twenty and two years. And he had thirty sons that rode on thirty ass colts, and they had thirty cities, which are called Havoth Jair unto this day, which are in the land of Gideon. And Jair died and was buried in Kamon. Right? So this is all we have to go on. And we created this line uh, then from these verses. So uh, the primary thing that we did is we took the 23 years and the 22 years and recognized their 45 years. Now, we start from July 18, 2020. Now, if we were to count um, this 45 years, well, the question is, why are we counting it to September 3rd, 2022? How come 45 years goes there? So what are we doing uh, to produce that? What What is the... Why do we have that date? So we have July 18, 2020. And we're going to go to 2022, September 3rd. And we're counting 777 days, right? So we just took that. We didn't write that in there, but that's what we were doing. So we're going to take this 777 days. And maybe that's not the correct way to look at it, right? So we, we went through this. In the past. Now, the symbol there is it's the sixth day of the sixth month. Um, I can't remember what event we had there. It's going to be a Saturday. So I think there might have been a study that was done by Colin, I believe. It's, it's obviously before the election in November. But that's what we place there. We place September 3rd, 2022. Then we have March 15th, 2023. We're going to count 718 days from March 27th, uh, 2021. So why we have that, and we have a question mark there. Not sure why. So this seems a little bit unfinished. That's just the 391 in reverse. And I don't remember why we chose March 15th, 2023, but it's 718 days.
Okay, so that's what we did. And we took this from Jatola and Jair. We created these different waymarks, July 18th. And uh, we had October 30th, the 18th month, 13th day in 2020. So we had obviously a narrative that we attached uh, to this line. And this appears to be uh, the formalization. This has to do with the rejection of the message. So December 6, 2020, of course, we know is the declaration. October 30th, 2020. So if I put these here. October 30th, 2020 is 140 days after July 18th. I think that was the meeting uh, that they had in Arkansas. That's going to be on a Friday, so I'm pretty sure that that's the date. Then on December 6, 2020, 141 days after July 18th and 37 days after October 30th, they're going to have the declaration. And so that's going to be the message of TOLA, right? So that's what that's what we're saying. After Bimelech, we have the message of Tola, the son of Pua, the son of Dodo, a man of Issachar. And he dwelt in Shamir in Mount Ephraim. And all we have about him is that he judged Israel 23 years. Died and was buried in Shamir. Now, even though we have this whole story of Jotham and and Abimelech, and we're placing it much later than any of this. That's because the message of Jotham is, is a parallel to this the whole line of, of this movement, really beginning in 2012, going up to 2030. But now we have Tola and Jair. So Tola is going to just go back to July 18th, because the message previous to that when we looked at these lines of the judges. So the messages previous to that was the message of Gideon, which was the message of July 18th. Right. So this begins after July 18th. So this is the initial rejection of July 18th by this movement. Now, uh, Jair, his message, we begin on March 27th, 2021. And part of that is because that's the next way mark after July 18th. So we know that's 252 days. And so what we're saying is we're taking the 23 and the 22 and lining them up with the 252 and the 525. Right. So we're saying from March 21st to... Um, December 25th is this 525, but we're going to have this go, uh, or pardon me, March 21st, 2021, we're going to count 525 days to September 3rd, right? So basically, we're going past December 25th by 252 days, or, or 273 days. Um, right, so... So we got March 21st, 2021 uh, as our next line. Then we have December 25th. 
I'll show you this on the screen here. You might not be able to see it. It's not really big, but uh, I want you to be able to see the bottom and then we'll zoom in. So we go to December 25th, 2021. And then we choose uh, February 12th, that's gonna be Ogilio's presentation and then September 3rd. So we're gonna go 49 days later. And then we're gonna go from at that date. So, so here are the dates on this line. So if we put all the dates that we had given, these are seven dates. You're going to see that it's 777 days from July 18th. Brings us to September 23rd or September 3rd, 2022. And then we have March 15th is going to be the arrival of the fourth angel. So whatever we choose, whatever we chose that date, I don't know. I, I could put it in. Twenty twenty three. Pardon me. So we're going to go March. It was the study of Tolinj here. Okay. So we just marked that. So whether that was the best thing to do or not, it would just happen to be 193 days after September 3rd. So we marked that. Okay. Now we have some other dates that we could put in here. We could put in May 13th because that ended up being part of our line as well. Uh, being 504 days after December 25th, 2021. That's 1,029 days after July 18. So now we got nine dates here. And maybe that has something to do with this line. Uh, interesting thing, another thing that we notice about uh, May 13th. So that's when my sister-in-law passes away. 11,900 days after my brother David was killed. It happens to be 888 days after December 6, 2020. Whether that's significant or just a coincidence, I don't know. Okay. These are the dates we have. Um, you can see also that May 13th is 252 days after September 3rd, but that's just simply because September 3rd, 2022 is halfway between December 25th, 2021 and May 13th, 2022. And that's going to just be uh, an artifact of how we've looked at these dates, right? That's 777 days from July 18th. So you're naturally going to have that date in there. Um, So when we put that March 15th date in there, we just put it in because we did the study on that day. Whether that fits into the structure or not, we would have to decide. Okay. So deciding what these messages are about. So one of the things about Judges 10 is it starts with 10 verse 1. Okay. So 10 verse 1 is the first day of the 10th month. It also could be the 10th day of the first month. 
Now, we would mark uh, in this line in Tola and Jair, and we look at the line, we don't have anything marking the first day of the 10th month. Right? That is, we don't have uh, December 25th, 2022, which is literally the first day of the 10th month. And we don't have April 5th or, or April 11th, January 11th, 2023. Now, we have the March 15th in there. It's also 718 days past March 27th, 2021. So we took note of that. That seemed to be significant to us. But it doesn't actually appear that it is that many days, according to this. So when I look at March 15th, 2023, and I count from March 20, oh, I put the wrong date in here. Never mind. I have to correct this. Answer. It is 718 days. Okay, so it ends up being 718 days. It's uh, better. <laughs> so if we look back at this chart. So I made a mistake here. I put March 21st, 2021 for some reason. So you can see when you look at March, you're going to see the 273, obviously, to December 25th. It's going to be 322 to February 12th. That's just adding the 49 days in there. 525 to September 3rd. 718 days to March 15th. And then 77 days to um, uh, May 13th, 2023. So one of the things, too, that we see is the 111 days here between March 27th, 2021, and December 6th, 2020, right, which is why we have the 888 days here. So it's another thing that connects to that December 6th date. Uh, now, we know 1111 weeks is or 111 weeks, 777 days. So when we look at this line, we could put these different spans of time in here. Um, I think what I'd rather do is simply uh, take, I'm just going to take this chart for now, and... See if I can just paste it in here. It's pretty big. Just going to put it here for now. Um, I wonder how I can get that. There must be some way to get the rid of all that spacing. Some way in which I could do this. Yeah. So. I could probably fix this some other way too, but <clears throat> okay. So we got all those those spans of time 
here, if you, you take a look at what I did here. <clears throat> so now we got, uh, yeah, I could transfer it to Excel. The thing is, I just wanted to put it on this, this page. So you can see all these different spans of time. Now I have the, the May 13th date, which I don't have on this line. Um, but for now, this is just, we're, we're analyzing these things. So I'll end up organizing these things a little bit more. So we can see there's a significance in what we put on this line. But as far as these different symbols and these verses, uh, we, we basically have just taken the 23 and the 22 to give us the 45 years. We've also taken the 30, 30, 30, divided it by 12 to get 25252.5, which gives us the 252 and the 525. So that's going to be... So what we're saying is that Tola and J.E. are divided in periods of, of 252 and 525. That's what we get from these verses. But we're marking this from July 18th. And, and that's because of how this fits into the line of the judges. Because this is following after Gideon. Of course, you have Jotham and Abimelech, but the next thing is Tola and Jair. Right. Now, I don't remember what September 3rd, 2022 is. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a study of Collins. Um, Iran says yes, Iran says yes. So, um, so it's a study of Collins. Um, and it's obviously before the election. So, so we're going to have to add some details there. Obviously, we know Odilio's and Collins studies, the first studies, but we're having this, a message arrives there. We're saying it's a message. So I think it's a different message, obviously, than uh, we have as the second angel. Now, we have March 27th, 2021, which is the 13th day of the 13th month on, on the biblical calendar, um, as this arrival of the second message. Now, this has to do with the message to the Levites. We don't have any particular, um, I mean, March 27, 2021 is the Sabbath. When, when that Sabbath occurred, there was not really, I don't think the movement sort of acknowledged that date too much, even though it was a major date on our lines. We're just saying, uh, we had noted it was September 3rd was the sixth day of the sixth month. Yep. So we noted that. That's there. Um, so there's a tie there between the 1313 and the 6 6, uh, number of rebellion and number of the Sunday law. But from these verses themselves, um, so we got a symbol that I think we need to address. And that is the first day of the 10th month. So we don't have a date on this line, which uh, accords with that. You know, and in some ways, you know, we probably could have um, uh, December 25th, 2022. Because that is... Uh, the first day of the 10th month. <clears throat> um, 
So I'm, I'm just looking here again at this. I've added it to this chart. We can only have 10 dates here. And if we look at the December 25th date, it's 890 days past July 18th, right? Because that's basically um, uh, you know, what we've done is added 11, uh, 100, 113 days to 777, right? 786 days past the October 30th date, 749 past December 6th, 638 days past March 27th, 2021, obviously 365 days from December 25th, 2021, 316 days from Odilio study, and 1113 days from that September 3rd day, 80 days before March 15th, and uh, 59 days, let me see, no, 139 days, yeah, so, so we got that 391 and the 193 here, which is interesting. So whether that should still be in the line or not, I don't know. But that date is, when you look at it on the biblical calendar, so if I go to December 25th, 2022, you can see it's the first day of the 10th month. So that's what we've done with Tola and Jair. So I could probably add that date in here. Um, So we're, we're uncertain about this, whether that's the best date to put as the arrival of the fourth message. I think we're pretty satisfied with this 777 days, right? That comes from this 30, 30, 30. Thirty sons that rode on thirty ass colts and had thirty cities. Now, um, now when it comes to these names, Tola, uh, the Hebrew number is eight four three nine. So if I put here eight four three nine, you can see here in this. It's going to give me this, this advertising. Um, make that a little bit bigger. Um, so you can see in number empire, when I put this in, 8439, that's the name Tola. It gives us these numbers as the divisors. Factorization is 3 times 29 times 97. So these are always prime numbers. It's the sum of the divisors. It's an octal. So, so anyway, I don't know if I see anything in particular regarding that number. But we could that jumps out at me anyway. So we have the symbol there. Could it be the first day or the 10th day of the first month that that symbol is? I would think it must relate to uh, the 10th, the first, the 10th day of the first month. So the other thing that we could have done with this line is we could have put January 11th, 2023 in there instead of March 15th, 2023. So I'm going to see what happens if I do that. I'm going to get rid of just in this computer program. You can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'll just show you in a minute.
So if we look at this chart now, I put I took out March 15th and I put in January 11th, 2023. Now that date is the first day of the 10th month uh, in a symbolic sense, right? And when I do that and we compare it to these lines, these are the numbers here. The only one that really jumps out here is 333. So 333, um, 333 days is 3 times 111. I don't see any other significance. Just looking at these things again. Okay, so so we looked at uh, Tola's name. We didn't really see anything. We looked at the first day of the tenth month. So maybe that's what we would put here. But I like this seven hundred and eighteen days here, and I like this one ninety three. <clears throat> So I think that just is significance from when we studied that message. Okay, so other things we would look at, we would look at Jair's name. His is 12971. Is it to year two nine seven one? It's the four hundred and twenty ninth prime number. And do a decimal, it's one eight seven seven. So 1877, so it has the 187 symbol in it. Any, any other observations about what we see here in these verses? Just what I put in chat. Okay. Uh, Tola, 8439, Worm, Jair, 2971, Enlightener. Could these represent the chronology Replete studies, repulsive to many in the messages. Okay, so how do they represent these? Just the worm and enlightener. So you're just saying the meanings of the names? 
Yeah, the meanings of the names and then the viewpoint of people. I mean, I've heard it, you've heard it, how they compare what they're hearing from you and what they're hearing from Colin and others. Okay. I think they don't want to stretch their minds that much to concentrate on all these numbers. I mean, it's really hard for me, <laughs> but I keep plugging at it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Um, So I'm just thinking here. Yeah, I'm just doing some calculations here. Okay, so if you take the names of Tola and J. Ear and you add them together, you get 11,410. <clears throat> and if we count, uh, from December 25th, 1991. So that is, if you count from November 9th, 1989, and you take that 777 days, now it's an inclusive count to December 25th, uh, 1991. And that's going to bring you to the end of the... The Jewish year, or the on the biblical calendar, 6067. So that's going to bring you to the last day of that year. It's March 22nd, 2023. So the first day of the first month is March 23rd, 2023. Okay, so. Now, what's the significance of March 23rd? in 2023, is there any significance? I mean, it brings you to basically the end of that year. And we know that the first day of the first month in 2030 is gonna be seven years from that day. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
So, so that date brings us to the end of that period of time that's going to then mark seven years to April 5th, 2030. Does that make sense to people? We're going to have to come back to this on Sunday. But I'm just going to go here just to finish this off, the study today. So if we take Tola and Jair and we take uh, the Hebrew numbers. So the Hebrew numbers are um, 8439. Right? Not sure why it's doing that. I'm going to do this 8439 plus. Um, Shamir is translated as briar, thorn, like bramble, but also adamant, diamond, okay. And 2971. I guess I'll do it this way. And that gives us 11 equals 11,410. And it's that many days from, we we'll go from December twenty sixth. So we're just gonna count from the end of that uh, uh, 1991 to Sure. March twenty three, twenty twenty three. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? So that brings us, it's going to be seven years, April 5th, 2030. So Tola and Jair, if we look at this in that way, we're going to say that it's going to bring us to, from the end of the 777 in 1991, if we count that number of days, it's going to bring us seven years to the day before April 5th, 2030. Does that seem satisfactory, at least uh, for now, so we can close with prayer? Because we've added them together to get 45 years. So to add their numbers together to get this period of time, I think, is significant. And just to be a little clearer about it, what that period of time is, is... Uh, it's going to be uh, 31 years... and 87 and a quarter days. So that's how, how long that period of time is. Okay, let's close with prayer. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the studies here today, this week, and for the light that you've given us. Help us to conti continue to consider these things, to put these things in place uh, for the study uh, the studies at the camp meeting in July. 
and be with each person as we continue to look at these things. Help us to pray uh, for ourselves and for those around us and to represent you. Uh, we pray for the camp meeting and the people that will be affected by it. And thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat>